all right guys today i'm gonna try to walk you through removing a valve cover on the passenger side on a 2000 f-250 super duty uh it's got the v10 engine 6.8 liter now i mean i ain't i ain't got you know fancy special tools all i had was a wrench and a couple extensions and a swivel and deep socket and that's what i was working with to remove this and you can get to all of them pretty fairly easy you know except the bottom that bottom row right there man and i mean if you got the tools to do it you know without removing your tire then then go ahead and do it that way but i'm showing you how with the tools i had how i did it but anyways for the bottom ones i mean i try to remove the battery you know the battery is right here i removed it try to get my hand on through there like that and the easiest way to save you a lot of trouble and time is remove the passenger the front tire. Come in this way. And my hands are small enough to get through to get them back in the back there. That's the easiest way. Save you a lot of trouble. And you can take this whole guard off if you want. But yeah, I'm just showing you. I mean I ain't got like I said, I ain't got nothing in them. I'm, I'm old school. All I got is a wrench and it's a ratchet socket. I ain't got no brushless, cordless impact guns and air tools and none of that crap. But uh, yeah, just make sure you tie all your vacuum lines and wire harnesses out the way. I got mine tied with a windshield wiper. But anyways, and once you get it all out, the screws, the bolts don't come out. See, they stay in there. Some of them they do, some of them they don't. But anyways, uh, whenever you loosen them all up, break the seal with the flathead screwdriver. I did mine right here at this point. Just break it, you, you hear, you can hear it whenever it's real loose and then just grab it. But I did, I got it like so, wiggled it, make sure it was all good and loose and then what you want to do is pick, try to pick your your ass end up first to get it over that cam that camshaft. What you want to do after you wiggle it, pick it up from that from the, from that from the ass end first, and then pick it up from this side, and then slide it straight out. And make sure you make sure your, your hoses and the wire harnesses are are out the way. But I was having trouble getting the valve cover off the that that back side of that camshaft. You can see where it was hitting. Had to, had to be careful not to get too crazy with it. You know, scuff it up. Then you have to get a new valve cover. But yeah, man, I had hell. It was I was fighting, and then I was hitting that uh that bracket down there. See that one bolt right there? I was hitting it as well. That's why you, when, after you wiggle it, that's why you got to work that that further side up first and then pick it all up. You know, you're going to be picking up these hoses. On mine, I pick, you know, picked it up some and then slide it out. But you can do it, man. Just keep, keep, keep wiggling it. You'll figure it out. I mean, I try to put it back in to practice for whenever I when, for whenever I put the the new gasket on. I was you know I was just practice and see if I can get it in there. I mean, it's easy to get in. It's just hard. It's hard getting it out. You just gotta gotta keep playing with it. But it, but it's possible. Now I'm gonna take a flashlight. Make sure all my all my stuff's good. And if it all looks good, then I put her back on. But if something else is wrong in there, I can't really see back here. But when I get a flashlight, I'm gonna look real good. A little pipes. Probably push the record button on my video and just see what all I can see with my phone. If something's messed up, then I'll try to make another video on it. But looking at it from here, everything looks everything looks pretty pretty good. And I might turn the motor with the through that through that fan let me see 
on the, you can turn the motor that way. Can't really see how much I do it manually. Yeah, I can see if everything's working properly here. But yeah, man, good luck getting yours off. The other side looks like it's gonna be easy, so I ain't gonna do no video on it. Looks fairly, fairly easy compared to this side. This one's just hard because it's got that 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 damn bracket down yonder. And then you got them hoses way back here. That whenever I put it on, I'm gonna have to push push some hoses with it and then it should go on in. But yeah. Good luck guys.